In this video, we're going to solve the equation 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. As we use the quadratic formula, we remember that's x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we also remember that the equation must equal 0 before we can use this quadratic formula. Our equation, 4x squared minus 12x plus 9, does already equal 0 like we want, and so we're ready to plug our values in of a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. x is equal to the opposite of b, which is positive 12, plus or minus the square root of b, which is negative 12, squared, minus 4a, which is 4, c, which is 9, all over 2a, which is 4. Now all that is left to do is simplify this expression to get our final answers for x. As we do, we'll find it nice to do all the multiplication and exponents at the same time. That won't violate any order of operations, giving us 12 plus or minus the square root of negative 12 squared, which is 144, minus 4 times 4 times 9, which is 144, all over 2 times 4, which is 8. Continuing by doing the subtraction inside the radical, we get x equals 12, plus or minus the square root of 0 over 8. And this time, we can actually calculate the square root of 0, which is 0, giving us 12, plus or minus 0 over 8. But what's interesting about that is whether we add or subtract 0, it doesn't really change the value of our x. In other words, 12 plus or minus 0 is always going to be 12 over 8, and we can reduce this fraction by dividing by 4 to 3 halves. It turns out that this equation, 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0, has only one solution. This solution is 3 halves. We found that solution by identifying a, b, and c after the equation equals 0, plugging them into the quadratic formula. We ended up with the square root of 0, which is 0, and adding and subtracting 0 doesn't change the value of the numerator at all.